Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. And yes, this is going to be my first review on this channel. So yeah, hope this is going to be a good review. So Sonic the Hedgehog is a game made by Sega in 1991 because they wanted to make a game that would compete against Nintendo's Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog was a big success so a year later Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came out and this game competed against Super Mario World when the Super Nintendo first came out and no one really knew what was better so uh, yeah let's get out my Genesis I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, wrong console. Here's my Genesis right here. Here's my Sega Genesis. And I have the light on on my camera because I don't have any good lighting over here. But yes, there is my Genesis right there. That's what it looks like. This is the Model 1 Sega Genesis, by the way. There are multiple models out there. There's the Model 2, Model 3, App Games, which kind of trash. And uh, many off-brand consoles. But uh, yeah, that's the very first Genesis right there. And mostly all Sega Genesis units were bundled in with Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It's one of the most common Genesis games of all time. Same thing with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, because a lot of people had Model 1s, and a lot more people, though. Because in, like, 1992-93, that's when the Genesis started to get really, really hype and popular. So in 1992-3, uh, that's why Sonic 2 sold a lot better than Sonic 1. But still, Sonic 1 was a huge success with the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive if you live in different regions. Alright, so this is what the box art looks like. Well, the US box art, actually. So, here it is. It says, not for resale, because mainly almost all copies of Sonic the Hedgehog 1 came with your Sega Genesis. It's kind of rare to find one with that, that doesn't say not for resale on it. In public, at least. And most of them actually online, they also say not for resale also. But yeah, here's also the back. Yeah, the box art's pretty good also. And then when you open it up, and yes, this game is complete in box. And here's your manual right here that comes with the cart. And then on the back, it tells you about Mickey Mouse Cash, le uh, cash Love Illusion. Of Illusion, God, I cannot talk. But yeah, it tells you how to play the game and everything. It shows you what everything is. And then there's the cartridge itself. It's in pretty good shape. But yeah, let's see the gameplay. So I'll go pop it into my Genesis and I'll show you guys some gameplay and I'll tell you what I think of it. So, when it boots up, you get the classic Sega screen, right? And then, we got, and then we get this classic charming title screen that brings back a lot of memories. So, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, that's just the demo. But, uh, yeah, we'll show off the first few zones. And, uh, yeah. So, you wanna think of it. So, green hole zone. It's a pretty damn good zone. We'll just start out with the first on the game. It's fast, it's colorful. It pretty much shows off what the Genesis could possibly do. It's like the very first Genesis game that you probably thought of. It just shows how bright and colorful, uh, colorful it is compared to like the NES. And see how fast the gameplay is also. And the sounds are amazing in this game, especially the music. And see this right here? That's a special stage. If you collect 50 rings or more, then you'll see that big ring at the end. But if you lose them before you get to the end, then you won't get a special stage. Or if you don't have uh, 50 rooms. If you're below 50 rooms, you can't get a special stage. Then when you're inside the special stage, you can try and collect the chaos. And this is the first special stage. Yeah, 
that's where he blows up. It's fast, it shows what the Genesis can do, and powerful, like, how powerful it can, like, do stuff. But yeah, that's Green Hill Zone. Now, here are the next stages. Now, may I remind you, Green Hill Zone is just to show off what the Genesis could possibly do, and show off all of its colors, bright and colorful colors. But then, here is when it starts to get pretty dull and pretty slow, let's just say. And the second zone is Marble Zone. So at the start, we get a lot, we get some pretty damn good music, right? And yeah, it's kind of fast at first. Once you get more into the stage, it gets slow, and you gotta take your time. Just like at this bit right here, it gets very, very slow at times. But there is cut, and there actually is some pretty good assets in the game like this. You could actually like do this. That's pretty cool. And this is a checkpoint. If you guys don't know, I'm not gonna grab it though. starts to test your platform also. But yeah. That's pretty much Marble Zone for you. Next zone, this is Spring Yard Zone. This zone is pretty, it goes back to a little bit of a fast pace, but not as, not as vibrant colors or like bright and like showing off what the Genesis could do. It's because that's what Green Hill Zone was. That's why it was pretty much the first zone because it shows off what the Genesis could do. But this is the third zone in the game. Now it's going back to pretty much fast pace. Now, the next and last zone, oh my god, this is the worst zone in Sonic history that even everyone agrees, Labyrinth Zone. Fucking Labyrinth Zone. Yes, this zone, I'm sure that you guys know the zone, it's pretty infamous in any Sonic like game. Everyone that has played at least one Sonic game or someone that knows the franchise has to know about Labyrinth Zone because like this zone. Oh, oh my god. I'm not gonna show you Act 1. I'll show you Act 2 at least. No, Act 3. Act 2 and Act 3. That's when it starts to go like the shit. Like it's not that good. I'll show you a little bit of Act 3 because I'm not playing through this freaking like horse shit. Like I'm yeah, once again, music's not bad, it's pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of annoying stuff like that, and waterfalls like this also. You gotta try and land on those platforms, because there's actually a switch. And it's pretty hard, because of freaking Sonic. There we go, that's one, you get a shield. zone in the game also and literally there's so much water why 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 is there so much water and this is just so slow why is this in the game and then they made title 
this is Sonic CD, which was like, oh, freaking great. But at least that actually isn't as bad, I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like Tiny Tempest. Look at this. Oh no! This zone is just slow. It's just slow, clunky, and just a waste of time. Anytime when I play this game, I always reset anytime when I can get the weapon, so I'm not freaking... And also, yeah, that happens also, so yeah. And anytime when I play Sonic 1, I freaking always skip the zone. I just press the reset button, skip all the way to Starlight Zone. But yeah, that's what I fucking think of this zone. So what do I think? Should you buy this game? Yes. It goes pretty cheap. It goes for like about four or five bucks, maybe even hell like two. For a complete in box, usually like ten bucks, usually eight to ten bucks, but yeah, it's pretty cheap. And it's also good to start out when you first buy a Sega Genesis. It's also a classic in the Sonic series. It's not the best. I know, it's pr it's okay. It's pretty good for like a beginner. For like in your Genesis collection. Like if you're about to collect Genesis games. Get this with Sonic 2. Those are pretty good games to start out with with your Genesis collection and cheap. Both of them are like two, five bucks. And compare this to Super Mario World. Yeah, this game does not hold up to it. Graphics wise, the the colors also stand out, but still. Super Mario World is better than this game, but comparing it to Sonic 2, Sonic 2 is better than Super Mario World, but that came out a year later, so we don't talk about that. But this compared to Super Mario World, People say that this game was better, but in my opinion, Super Mario World is better. I'm more of a Sonic guy, but I still love Mario. He has a place in my heart also. But Sonic I grew up with. That's probably why I like him better. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.